Hi, I'm Oli. Welcome to Oxford Online English. In this lesson, you can learn how to write a Band Nine IELTS essay. Now, this video is a little bit different. Obviously, you can't see me. I'm recording my screen. I don't have a script.、Uh, I'm going to write an essay and、uh, show you what I'm thinking about. I'm going to do this in one take, so you're going to see all the problems、um, I have and everything that goes wrong.、Uh, I'm going to leave that all in there, and I'm going to do it like a real IELTS question with a time limit, so you can see how I do it in real time. Okay, so、uh, let's start. We've got a question here which I wrote、uh, maybe five minutes ago, so I haven't thought about it. I haven't. Planned anything yet? And let's read. Digital communication technology, such as email, instant messaging, and social media, has improved communication and connections between people. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? Then give reasons. And all this stuff. This is in every IELTS question. So,、um, the first thing you need to do is. Analyze the question. There are two things to think about here. One is to make sure that you understand everything precisely. You understand exactly what the task is asking you to do.、Um, the second point is to identify how many things you need to do to answer this question. So, digital communication technology. What does that mean? Well, luckily, the question gives examples for us: email, instant messaging, social media. Now, of course, you can talk about other things. You're not limited to these examples, but since the question gives us examples, we don't need to think about that more right now. Okay, has improved communication. What does that mean exactly?、Uh, how can communication be better or worse?、Um, also, digital communication technology has improved connections between people. Again, questions you should be thinking about now. What does this mean exactly? And very importantly, is this the same as communication, or is it something different? Then, okay. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? There's one opinion here, one idea, although it's quite a complex idea, but it's still one idea. That means we need to do one thing in this essay. Explain. To what extent we agree or disagree? Let's make a plan. I'm going to start my plan from the conclusion.、Um, this is important in an IELTS essay, and I recommend you do this because everything in your essay should be leading towards your conclusion, and that means you need to know what your conclusion is going to be before you start writing. Now, my conclusion is going to be that. Technology has undoubtedly improved communication, but not connections.、Um, so I'm going to split these two ideas, and I'm going to make it clear that there's a difference between communication and connections. Now I'm going to plan backwards from there. Uh, so the next question is, how many body paragraphs are we going to have? Now I think, because we're talking about two different ideas, these two, I think it makes sense to have two body paragraphs. Now, not every IELTS essay needs two body paragraphs.、Uh, you can write essays with different numbers of paragraphs, but in this case, it makes sense to have two. So. In the second body paragraph, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to talk about connection, and in the first body paragraph, I'm going to talk about communication. Now, obviously, that's that gives me my main ideas, but I need to develop these a little bit. So, so I'm going to say. This in body paragraph one, technology has improved communication, and I'll use examples like,、um, for example, let's see, things like instant messaging, 
email, uh, I'll talk about things like Skype. And these are all fast, free or almost free and convenient. So that gives me some examples and some supporting ideas. Um, in body paragraph number two, I'm going to say that better communication doesn't equal better connection. And I'm going to talk about, mm, I'm going to talk about how uh, digital communication can't replace face-to-face -face communication. Um, I'm going to talk about non-verbal communication, like body language, uh, facial expressions, and things like that. Um, and I'm going to say that um, human connection depends on face-to-face -face communication. Okay, so at this point, we should check that uh, we should check that all of our points are relevant and connected. So, in the first paragraph, um, let me get rid of this. I'm talking about improved communication. That's pretty directly relevant. That's good. Um, then, in the second paragraph, I'm talking about better connection connections between people. Um, so again, that's directly connected to the question. Um, then here in this sentence, I'm connecting those two ideas. Okay, it's not really a sentence, but you know, in this idea, I'm connecting communication and connection. And that brings me to my conclusion where again, I'm bringing the two ideas together Again, I'm still talking about technology, uh, and I'm connecting these ideas together to answer the question. Now, this is really important, and it's something that many IELTS students really struggle with. Uh, your Everything in your essay needs to be connected to everything else if you want to get a high score. And by high score, I mean seven or more. Um, so that starts when you plan. You need to make sure that you know what your conclusion is, you know that your conclusion is relevant to the question, and then you need to plan your body paragraphs with your conclusion in mind. Everything needs to be connected. Um, everything in your body paragraphs needs to be leading towards your conclusion. So let's start writing. Um, so I might go quiet here because I find it difficult to talk and think and write all at the same time. Uh, let's write an introduction. Okay, going to change that. I didn't like that. I thought, thought it was going to be repetitive. Um, I need to make sure that I don't distract myself talking and make mistakes. Um, okay, that's good. It's a good first sentence.
Mm-mm. Okay, I'm going to change that. I don't really like it. Um, okay, I'm sort of struggling to finish this sentence a little bit. Um, I'm going to say this. Oops. Uh, yeah, one thing I meant to say, if you uh, don't want to watch me kind of jumping around in the document, um, you can watch this video on our website, OxfordOnlineEnglish.com. If you're on YouTube, you can find a link underneath the video and on the web page, you can see the full essay so you can read it as I'm talking and you don't have to watch me, you know, jumping around if you don't want to. Okay, so that's a decent introduction, I think. Um, something to notice, I'm going to get rid of these highlights. So, um, Okay, the first sentence, I'm signaling what I'm going to talk about in my first body paragraph. Uh, here. Then in my, se uh, in my second sentence, um, I'm kind of reframing the question and I'm drawing this line between communication and connections and I'm showing that I think these are two different things. And then, I make a very clear statement which connects directly to my conclusion. You can see this in my plan. My conclusion is that technology has improved communication, but it hasn't improved connections between people. And I'm signaling this very clearly in my introduction. That means the examiner or whoever's reading my essay knows exactly where I'm going to go. And that's also very important for your IELTS essay. Somebody who reads your introduction should know where you want to go and what you're trying to do with this essay. Okay, so body paragraph number one. Um, let me give myself some space. Right. Um, All right, so that's my topic sentence. That's introducing um, the main point of my paragraph. And now I need to add supporting ideas and examples. So
Okay, so I'm not sure I'm going to leave it like this. I'm just going to do a quick time check. Okay, 25 minutes left. Um, I might change this, but I think that's pretty, pretty good. Um, so things to check. Uh, first of all is to check that your paragraph fits your plan. So my plan says technology has improved communication. And I'm saying that communication is easier, cheaper and more convenient. Um, so that's, that's good. That works. Mm, I give examples like instant messaging, email or VoIP, like Skype. Um, then I give an example by comparing the present to the past. I talk about how in the past it was difficult and expensive, but now I can reach anybody all over the world for using my phone. Um, so I think, I think that covers what we, what we need it to cover. Um, right. So now I need to move to the second body paragraph. Obviously the second body paragraph is going in a different direction. I need to draw this line between communication and connection and show that communication and connection are different things. So I need to signal that clearly. Um, Let's think how I can do that. Uh, uh, no, I did that in my introduction. I was going to ask a question starting with however, but I already did that here. So I need to make sure that I don't repeat myself. Um, Okay, um, so that's my topic sentence. Then now I need to support that. And if I go back to my plan, actually, I'm going to copy my plan and I'm going to bring it down here so you can see that. Right. So Okay, so I need to finish this. I need a kind of finishing sentence here. Um,
Okay. Um, I think I think that's okay. Um, so let's have a look. Um, first, we've got this, which is linking this paragraph to the first paragraph. Um, I'm referring back to the ideas I talked about in the first body paragraph, and with the word while, I'm signaling that I'm going to go in a different direction. Um, while is used to show contrasts, or uh, yeah, contrasts. So that makes it clear that um, which direction I'm going to go in this paragraph. Then this is really my topic sentence here. Uh, this is the main point of my paragraph. It's not... Um, now I think I should change this word because in the task it says it uses the word improved. And here I say changed. And that's a slightly different meaning. And you need to be careful of things like this because you might use a word and you think, okay, that's, that's fine, that's very similar in meaning. But words which are similar in meaning are not the same. And to get a, a high score in your IELTS essay, you need to be very precise. Uh, it's not significantly... Now, can I use improved? Mm. Let me think. Ah, now you see, I don't like that because I used I used it already here, and I think I used it already before. So, um, let's keep it simple. Meaning, meaning, go, meaningful. All right. Okay, I think that's better. So that's my topic sentence. That's now closer to my meaning in my plan, and it's closer to the idea that I'm working towards in my conclusion. Then I'm giving a reason. Digital communication can never replace face-to-face -face communication. So this explains why um, technology has not improved connections and relationships. Then I explain this idea, I say, why can, why can digital communication not replace face-to-face -face communication? Because communication is nonverbal. Then I give examples of nonverbal communication, and I go on to explain how um, that nonverbal communication is lost in uh, if you're using some kind of digital technology to communicate. Then the final sentence is kind of leading to my conclusion. Um, I'm, again, I'm bringing back the, I'm connecting the two ideas of communication and connection, um, which sets up my conclusion, I think. So now I need to write the conclusion. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, let's do a time check. 15 minutes. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, let's do a word count check. I have 223 words so far. So again, that's looking pretty good. Um, you, you want to aim to write maybe around 270, 280. That's a good length. So if my conclusion is 50 or 60 words, I'll be around, I'll be in that area. So, my conclusion, mm -mm -mm. let's see, now it's, the thing with your conclusion is you have to be very careful not to just repeat yourself. Um, obviously your conclusion is connected to all the ideas which you've talked about in your essay, but it should not just be a repetition, and that's easy to say, but it can be hard to do. Um, so I'm going to go quiet again while I f focus on this. Um,
Okay, I'm just referring back to my plan. Also, I, I need to check back to my introduction um, and just make sure that I'm, you know, I'm uh, explaining my conclusion clearly, but I'm not repeating myself. So I'm that's what I'm doing here. Uh, Okay, so I think that should be good, but uh, I'm going to check. Um, now, it's always good to keep checking back. It is so easy to go off topic. Um, and in an IELTS essay, your IELTS essay, although you might think it's a lot to write in 40 minutes, it's, it's quite short. You don't have very many words. You don't have very many sentences. And that means you need to make sure every sentence counts. Every sentence needs to be relevant and focused. And it's so easy to just get a little bit distracted or um, to go a little bit off topic, or maybe you generalize a little bit too much and your point becomes uh, less relevant or less focused. So I'm just going to check this here. So here, I'm looking at key ideas from the task. We've got digital technology. Uh, we're talking about communication, talking about it's a positive thing, um, which that's re we know that's relevant because the question is asking about improving communications. Um, that also, we also hit that here. Being able to keep in touch, that's relevant. That's about communication. Uh, it's a great advantage that shows that something positive, it's something improved. Then we're talking about connecting, forming relationships. Again, that relates back directly to the task. Um, okay, has not changed. Has not changed. So the task is asking about whether technology has improved connections between people. I'm saying um, it, has, it hasn't changed connections and how people form relationships. And yeah, that is relevant because if, if it hasn't changed, then it hasn't improved. So that's also answering the question pretty directly. Um, then here, okay, we've got, we need face-to-face -face contact to form meaningful connections with others. And current technology is no substitute for that. Now this is quite important. It's probably the most important sentence in the whole essay. Let's see why that is. Um, first of all, this is answering the question. Um, your last sentence should be your, your final answer, and it should be something clear. Um, to get high scores for your IELTS essay, you need to present a clear conclusion. It's very difficult to do that if you write something like, well, it depends on the situation or there are advantages and disadvantages on both sides. If you write something like that, it's not a clear conclusion and it's very difficult then to get higher scores. Now here we have a very firm conclusion. I'm not in the middle on this topic. I'm coming down on one side. I'm saying, yeah, okay. Technology has improved communication, but it definitely hasn't improved connection. It's a firm conclusion, and that 
um, makes it possible to get higher scores, especially in your task achievement. Uh, quick time check. Eight minutes. Okay, wow. All right. Um, should hurry up a little bit. Now, I've basically finished, but I'm still, I still have time to check and maybe make some improvements. Let's do a quick word count check. 291 words. That's just about perfect. Um, it's a good length. So, all right, that's good. Now I'm going to look through, I'm going to look for vocabulary. Um, you, at this point, if you have time at this point in your IELTS exam, you want to look through, look for vocabulary errors, look for uh, things like repetition of words, um, look for um, anywhere where you can perhaps improve your use of vocabulary, replace by replacing a uh, maybe a more generic word with something more specific and more interesting. Um, you could also look for grammar errors. Now I hope I haven't made any grammar errors. Um, I'm going to defend myself preemptively. If I have if I have made any grammar errors, it's almost certainly because I got distracted by talking while I was typing. But okay, let's have a look. Um, all right. So I'm going to highlight vocabulary which the examiner would notice and think, okay, this person is, you know, is a strong candidate for vocabulary. And often the IELTS students focus a little bit too much on just words, but actually getting a higher score in vocabulary is much more about com combinations of words and collocations and phrases. It's not necessarily about using very, very difficult vocabulary. It's about um, taking the vocabulary you have and using it with precision and uh, with versatility. So things like advances in technology, um, form meaningful relationships, uh, no substitute for face-to-face -face communication. Let's have a look at a few more. Um, VoIP, that's a good one. Mm. At the push of a button. Um, mm -mm -mm. Nonverbal, communication is nonverbal. That's a good phrase. Subtle cues, or even something like facial expressions. Uh, Mm -hmm. Change substantively. Now these are, yeah, these are phrases that if I were marking your essay, I would notice and I would say, okay, wow, these, um, this person is, uh, should be considered for a high vocabulary score. These are the things that can, the kind of things that can push you into band eight or band nine for vocabulary. And there are a few more, but I just highlighted a few examples. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just check that um, I haven't overused any words. So I'm going to look for keywords from the topic, things like technology, communication, um, interaction. Let's just check. Uh, uh -huh. So I'm just going to highlight all of these. Um, obviously, if you were in your exam, you could maybe underline words or uh, maybe put a little star or a, a little mark next to them with your pen um, and mark them in that way. And it's just an easy way to way to see uh, if you're overusing any particular words. Now this isn't looking too bad so far. Um, uh, I say that, but then it seems like there's a lot of communication in this paragraph. Yeah, that's, that's looking a little bit repetitive. So I should do something about that. Uh, oh, there's another one, I missed one. Then I'm gonna keep going. Uh, 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 connect again.
Okay, so I think um, it's not too bad. Now, I, again, IELTS students I find tend to um, worry a little bit too much about repetition and often uh, I see essays which are full of incorrect synonym usage because the student is trying to avoid repeating themselves and I mean repetition can be a problem but it's much more important to use a word precisely and accurately and sometimes some repetition is inevitable like in this topic we're talking about communication so um, although I do need to do something about this paragraph it's natural that you're going to use the word communicate or communication you're going to use those words several times because that's what you're talking about and sometimes that's the only word that fits all right let's see um so i'm going to change a few of these to try and minimize this repetition Okay, so instead of using the word communi digital communication, I'm just going to list all the things which are included in digital communication, and that solves that problem. Um, face to face contact. Now, I, I know I've used the word contact a few other times, um, but I think I don't think I've used it that much, so I'm going to change that to contact. And that fits there. Um, now the others I think I need to leave uh, because here communication is nonverbal. I need the word communication to go with the word nonverbal. Those have to go together. In the topic sentence, I want to use the word communicate because it's a key word, it's a key idea in the topic. So I want to address that directly. And here again, this is kind of a, a conclusion to the paragraph. Um, and again, I want to use the word communication. So I think that's okay. Um, let's see. The other word I was just thinking about is the word meaningful. Uh, I'll highlight this purple. I just want to make sure I haven't overused this because I felt like maybe I was using it a little bit too much. But no, I think that's okay. I can only see two. Um, that looks okay. All right. So at this point, I think I've got what? How much time? 30 seconds. So I'm more or less done. Now, I think that would be. Um, this would be a strong IELTS essay. Uh, it would, yeah, it would get it would get the top score undoubtedly. And let's just review the key points. So, the most important thing I would say, and the number one thing you need to do if you're aiming for a higher IELTS score, is you need to. Oh, there I go. I'm out of time. No more changes. Um, you need to plan and you need to plan your conclusion first. You need to know where your, con uh, where your essay is going. And then you need to plan your essay so that everything is connected. It's not enough if you're aiming for high schools. It's not enough for your ideas just to be relevant. They also need to be connected to each other. Everything needs to be connected. Um, I know, yeah, I'm repeating myself there, but that's the most important point. Um, Another thing, and something I've I kind of noticed while I was doing this, is that it's really important to just check back as you're writing. Keep checking back to the task. Keep checking back to your plan. Do things like, um, okay, in this video I've been highlighting words to show you, which of course you can't do in your in your IELTS exam. But you know what? You can you can underline things. Um, you can underline things on your in your essay and in your plan and in the question and in that way oh, that's already underlined okay in that way 
you can just check that you're staying on topic and just you know make sure that you don't start going in a different direction. That's one thing I noticed. Uh, then, yeah, I mean, also, I guess the last point is just to, um, the last really important point is make sure you reach a strong conclusion. Again, this is essential for high IELTS scores. You can't get high IELTS scores with a, oh, well, it depends, there's good and bad here kind of answer. It, it doesn't work. You need a strong conclusion, you need to have an opinion, and the examiner needs to understand what that opinion is. And yeah, you can see this as we talked about at the end here. Okay, so uh, let's finish there. Uh, like I said, you can see the full essay and you can read it on our website, oxfordonlineenglish.com. There's a link underneath the video. That's all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.